It's a lot of responsibility being a business owner. Some guys won't be able to deal with it. Some guys will. Depends on how they how they focus on the direction that they want to go in. For me, I love it. I enjoy it. And when I was in prison, I made I made forty five cent an hour. Forty five cent an hour, and they used to they used to work us like crazy. Those signs that you see on, on the highway, we made that in prison. The license plates that you see on cars, we made that in prison. You know, so the, the chairs and the, and the executive chairs and the conference tables and all that that you see in these state buildings, we made that in prison. Refoundry is um, a nonprofit organization that uh, deals with criminal uh, justice and and trying to make a better place for people that have been incarcerated and try to cut the circle of mass incarceration. We train formerly incarcerated people to repurpose discarded materials into home furnishings and then mentor them into their own career track or their own business. We came from the private sector and we look at workforce development and reentry through the lens of business and the private sector. Our program here is based in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Navy Yard where we ran a pilot and in our two pilots, one in Los Angeles and one here in Brooklyn, we helped incubate 10 businesses that employ 125 people. Gene is one of our success stories, a successful refoundry entrepreneur who went through our program, succeeded in creating his own business and in giving back to others and providing opportunity for others coming after him. Habits of Women's Clothing Store is located on Fifth Avenue in St. John's. And I actually met Tommy at the Fifth Avenue Fair and he was with one of his craftsmen. And he had a coffee table that I really liked that I purchased. And in the process of talking to him and kind of understanding a little bit more about the mission of Refoundry, aside from just really liking the style and the aesthetic, obviously the organization seemed pretty progressive. We had the basement being unused, so it seemed like it could be like a nice potential partnership. So what does Gene want to sell this for? 225 Yeah, that's great. The first time I met Gene was at the opening, uh, which we had about two or three weeks ago. And we had a lot of local people come in, and Gene was one of the artisans that came to represent his craftsmanship. We had friends and family and local customers, and then people just walking by, they were able to come down and see by purchasing a piece of furniture, you're not only supporting Refoundry, but you're also directly supporting the artisan who now has moved from point A to point B to now with your support, point C and D, and hopefully onward and onward and onward. If you can work for 45 cents an hour, or 16 cents an hour, or 19 cents an hour in prison, I don't see why you can't come home and, 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 and find yourself a business or find yourself a job that will lead you towards a business. One of the greatest things that I see, or at least that I have experienced with our participants is when they build a product and you know they're struggling to learn the craft and then once we take them to the market, all of a sudden people are looking at the product and all of a sudden people's asking them, how much is it? You know, oh, this is so beautiful. This is uh, so well done. And that interaction with, you know, with the community, all of a sudden they no longer see themselves as everybody sees them as ex-cons. And they now all of a sudden they see themselves as a craftsman. Partnering with Refoundry is a way for Park Slope and the people that come and visit Park Slope to make a real difference in people's lives, one person at a time. There's a story behind everything at the Habit Gallery for Refoundry and you yourself are helping to write a happy ending to someone's story. 